it's always like almost every single one of those episodes I've ever watched. I feel like there's a, a load bearing wall where they like they have a panic attack. That's not restoration construction, right? That's not hail damage to the house. This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters First. This video is sponsored by the multinational IA firm Crawford & Company. To be the best, you have to join the best at croco.com slash cat. As an adjuster, just do it. So if you have a home, yeah. improvement, home improvement project around your house, just get in there and do it. Uh, I guess the best, next best way would be um, watching YouTube videos, um, looking at how-to books. Like, I know this old house, they do a bunch of... Uh, videos on how to do stuff. Uh, I would concentrate really on how a house is constructed, a typical house in the U.S., uh, drywall damage, how that's fixed, uh, roofs, how they're put on and how they're replaced. And yes, you can replace individual shingles. Um, how siding is installed. House, uh, and yes, you can replace pieces of siding. I'm not saying you should all the time, especially if you have vinyl siding that's faded. But just yeah. really just learning about how a house is constructed. And the reason why it's important as an adjuster to know that is because if you're writing an estimate on how to repair something, but you don't know how that repair process is going to look or how the process um, takes place, then you're at a real disadvantage in writing that estimate. I would argue that the estimate may not be that accurate if you're not sure how the repairs are going to take place and what material that you're replacing. So if you're replacing, uh, if a homeowner had vinyl siding, but you're putting fiber cement siding on your estimate, that's not an accurate estimate. So it's important to know that, and you're only going to be able to figure that out by doing it or by researching it. I always say this, um, new adjusters don't have the luxury of experience, and so that's why training is so important. Yeah, for sure, for sure. <clears throat> um, and to just kind of piggyback off of what you're saying there, as far as you know the um, the YouTube videos and things like that, I would encourage people to not be like, "Well, you know, I watch a lot of Chip and Joanna Gaines, and <laughs> uh, you know, or, or any any like house flipping shows and things like that, where they're always like, you know, the big drama moment about three quarters of the way through is, is oh no." this is a load bearing wall, right? And they have to deal with the load bearing wall. We can't, oh my, what are we going to be going to do? Oh, we're just going to put a you know piece of steel in or a glue lamb or whatever, right? It's always like almost every single one of those episodes I've ever watched. I feel like there's a, a load bearing wall where they like they have a panic attack. That's not restoration construction, right? That's not hail damage to the house. Um, I think the thing that people need to understand is, yeah, you totally need to know how a house is, a building is made, right? What what are the components to a house, right? Um, you know, what's the foundation? What kinds of, like, do it just, do, I mean, and it's, the truth of the matter is, is that we don't have to be, have like the knowledge of like a general contractor, like deep knowledge of like how to do all this stuff. And like, when I say how to do all this stuff, but to be like, you know, look at something and be like, all right, how are we going to, you know, design and engineer a front porch with the with a roof on it and a deck and the boards and the load bearing. You know, how are we going to figure out? You don't. Have, it's good to know that stuff, but it's not something that you necessarily need to, to do because the th what you're doing as the adjuster is dealing with stuff that's already there, right? First of all, so you can be like, okay, well, there's metal roof, there's uh, two by six uh, rafters, there's some uh, one by you know four, one by six tongue and groove. You know, between the roof and the rafter, and then there's some, some there's something between the the roof and the one by you know tongue and groove, right? Some underlayment. Um, you don't need to know how many nails there are, or if they use screws or nails or staples. It doesn't matter. Um, you know, what's that supported by? So on and so forth, right? If you can stand there and look at it and identify those things, you're you're getting pretty far with it, right? But you got to know kind of what you're looking at. And you have to, you do have to have a general understanding of, well. Foundation, right? There's different kinds of foundations, you know, slabs, there's there's footers, there's crawl space, there's full basements, right? There's fully poured ones, there's rocks, you know, all these. There's a, a bunch of different ways to do it. To learn that stuff, right? Look look up foundations. Look up framing. How is a, what, what are the different ways that a house can be framed? 
um, you know, exterior walls, interior walls. Where does the insulation go? How is the electrical in, in, installed into that? How's the plumbing? Was what what? How do you put the plumbing in there? Right? Where does the water come in and where does it go out? Kind of deal. Um, and then you've got your mechanical stuff, like you've got your you know your HVAC. How to recognize? You know, look at something and be like, well, that's the furnace, right? That's that's the thing that that uh, heats and cools the house. Most these days, there's it's one thing, right? And you've got a, a condenser out in the yard sits next to the side of the house. Um, and then finished surfaces, right? So the main thing that adjusters deal with are finished surfaces, by and large, for I mean, for the vast majority of things, unless it's structural damage like earthquake or fire or you know, 350 year old oak tree crunches into the side of the house and racks everything. And you can see like the, the drywall is all shattered and everything's kind of at a skewed at an angle. And you can see broken, you know, uh, two by stu two by four studs in the walls, right? That's structural damage. Most of your claims aren't that, right? They're hail damage to the to the to the roof and the siding, which are finished surfaces. Those are not structural items, right? It's not you're not doing framing when you do the roof, generally speaking. Um, water damage on the inside. We're going to do drywall, paint, maybe some insulation if it, we can, you know, if we think it got wet or it's part of our estimating guidelines or whatever. But we're not replacing studs, even if they had eight feet of water. They had seven feet, eleven inches of water is one inch that didn't get wet at the very top of the wall. We're not replacing the studs. Right. We might replace almost everything else, but we're still not doing the structural stuff unless it was otherwise damaged. You know, a big log came washing down with the flood and smashed into the side and anything like that can happen. But I, I, so I would say when, when people are, are searching for information about construction, like, you know, to, to kind of learn construction, focus in on the things that you're going to be dealing with the most and that is going to be finished surfaces, and those are, and feel free to add any if, if I miss some, roofing, right? Removing and replacing roofing, repairing roofing, right? Repairing parts of the roof, like the vents only. Um, things that could be on the roof, like skylights. You've got gutters and downspouts. You have fascia, soffit, freeze board, right? Um, you have uh, siding. And then you have windows and any trim that goes around the windows on the outside, right? Those are the main things on the outside of the house. Screens, right? That, that are going to get damaged most of the time. And then the inside, I mean, drywall and carpet. I mean, you could write, in my career, I, I couldn't tell you how many square feet of drywall and carpet estimates, worth of estimates I've written in my career. Hundreds of thousands. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, it's good, right? And then baseboard, paint, right? Sometimes cabinets, right? Sometimes hardwood floor or something other than carpet, right? But the vast majority of things are going to be drywall carpet. So if you start there, right? If you if you do nothing else, right? And you've got um, some time in the evening to kind of like watch videos. So let's start at the top of the house and work our way, way down on the outside. And then we'll look at what is in my house, right? Oh, I'm looking at some drywall here. I'm looking at some baseboard there and some carpet there. Um, how would I replace that? Coming up on Adjuster TV. 